cedar, spirit of the cedar tree, Kodia, Kodemakomo Kerema said, Kodemakomo Kerema said, the great honor of Kodemakomo said, the great of Soccer Empire. So right ahead we have the Emancipation Statue. We're going to check out and see what happens there and then we're going to follow the march so people are marching around the area. So let's get the Emancipation by the Emancipation Statue right there. So that's the Emancipation Statue. Let's get closer. Starting here at the Emancipation Statue. Emancipation mean to you and what's your name? Hi, my name is Tamika Bren and emancipation simply means freedom. It simply means perseverance, resilience. Coming here today and seeing this beautiful homage to our people and to our ancestors, I feel really, really proud and really blessed to be in a space like this that celebrates our history and our culture. This statue was erected by the government of Barbados to commemorate 150th anniversary of abolition of slavery and emancipation of Barbadians from institutional slavery. Yeah. Hi. 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 Hello beautiful people of Barbados. Yes, hello beautiful people of Barbados. Hello beautiful people of Barbados. Hello beautiful people of Barbados. Hello beautiful we are here at the Buster statue. He's a YouTuber? Yeah. You are? You yeah. are? Are you on YouTube? Yes. You're YouTube? gonna be on YouTube. Are you gonna be on YouTube? Yes, Wait, you're gonna what be on YouTube. What you use? African, you? What African you? tigress on YouTube. What you use? Call you followers? African tigress. Huh? What you call you? Oh, what, what I call my followers. I call them the AT Nation. The AT Nation? Okay. Hi, Sorry, guys. AT Nation. Hi, AT Nation. We are here for the Here's Well Youth Club. Oh, my God. We are here at the Emancipation Village today. Um, I'm going to tell you a little story about the about Bossa. So, Bossa um, led the rebellion to save Barbados from slavery yes. and have our freedom. So, thank you, Bossa, for being heaven. Bye. Okay, thank you. Two hundred and ninety-nine thousand. Pardon? That's a abomination. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was gonna say two hundred, but two hundred and ninety-nine thousand. So we come and lay flowers here. More celebration.
the skating group is also here. Let me try and get to the front. of Ghana the Ghanaian flag the emancipation work, it's now time to sit down and enjoy some presentation. I love the mood and I love the energy.
Scott's Asian Village. Our brothers and sisters who came from the African continent are being recognized this morning in a ceremony that is befitting of them. You know, we weren't always enslaved. We weren't always an enslaved people. And so I just want to be, remind us of the greatness of our people by calling some of their names. That's so sick.
who walks in the dead of night goes on to a rope tied to ancestors that umbilical ifa big to provide. Water for the wind, pour libation from the lips, light up your candles, sandalwood and frankincense, lay your flowers down, call the name of ancestors, make your offerings, take your altar to the sea. Yemaya awaits your prayers. Full of food, sweet rain. We brought yam and a rooster to so good health and wealth. The last of our black she goats cleanse the evil path. We cross over temptation, the cocoon of tears, over of the ocean deep. You hold the darkness in us. Spirit of the earth. The exiled and the deep king of pestilence and healing, all sick Lazarus, sweeping away the sickness, fathering the world, Babalu, Ali, sackcloth, palm straw, symbols of repentance and suffering. Or real thing, the old man of bush and evil, <laughs> one arm, one leg left, one I'm ear, ah, one hand left. The secrets of herbs and wood, you have breakfast. The scratch and no, no. The demands, Why? As I told you, I was going to bring father. I thought you were going to come. I was trying to. I didn't get the message in time. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. Ring the bell. They already walked. We have lost the way. Yeah. Our I think I found I, I I found them walking before they came here, so I'm not so sure if they're walking again. The drums are falling. What does this day mean to you? My name is Winston Farrell. Um, 
this day is a very important day in the lives of black people. Um, emancipation Day, the freedom of the enslaved. So it's a day to celebrate. Um, and not just to look back, but like the Sankofa, to look back while going forward. So my message is to keep going forward, but don't forget the past. Bless. Thank you so much. One Africa! One Asserted their freedom and defended their right to be to such an extent that the British had to come and negotiate with them. What spirit did they embody? A spirit of confidence, of self determination, but more than anything else, we now go stay here under those chains and so stout, so strong. So resolute and so cunning were their tactics that the British had to come to negotiate. And in the true spirit of deception, they negotiated for peace, but then breached the peace so that some 600 Maroons found themselves exiled to Nova Scotia a few years later. But even before that, the terms of peace that were negotiated was that the Maroons should turn against their brethren and sisters. That anybody henceforth who came to their camps should be returned. And that set up a lot of antagonism between those who had sought freedom and those who were still in school. So the spirit that we want to be is a spirit of clarity. A spirit imbued with a sense of our history, those who came before us and those to whom we give birth, to whom we will be ancestors, some other 4.5 million ones to come from us. So this morning in the conversation of our history, we talked about the fact that it is less than 200 years since the chains have been taken and it's going to take a long time for us to really catch that spirit of emancipation. The spirit of gratitude, the spirit of confidence, the spirit of determination, the spirit of a vision that is all encompassing in terms of who we are and where we want to be. So I thank you for the opportunity for Rastafari to stand here and address you. Because I and I represent that people who in a resolute spirit said, Babylon is not for I and I. But we have had many experiences. We have had many experiences of resistance, the spirit of resistance came, resistance to the task that Rasify was calling everyone to. We needed first to suffer all the diseases that we were admonished. Check your body as a temple of the living spirit and treat it in that way. Because if you do not have health, then you cannot embody that spirit of perfection. Oh, I didn't know if it was me who'd be next to go.
your name and where are you from? My name is Farah Delance, the president of the Farah Delance Foundation. I live in New York, but I'm Asian, 100%. <laughs> All right. So what does this day mean to you? Um, I'm so glad that I, I mean, it's my first time in Barbados, and I'm so proud to see how you guys handle, handle in your culture. This is one of the most important things of the economic of a country, culture development. So I'm so happy to see how you handle in it. Um, I love Barbados. I love what I see. I love the sea. I love the people, the beautiful people that I met. Oh, you're so generous. You love people coming to your country. And I'm sure in a few months I'll be back <laughs> because I love the welcome. I mean, I went to the parliament, I met the ministers, I met a lot of people, Mr. Trevor, Andrea Wells, and I met a lot of people in the government, and you guys are amazing. Awesome. And I love Barbados, I enjoy every place that I go. All right, all right, I'm not Bejan though, but I take it. For today, I become the John. Yeah. I'm coming to interview you now. You're going to interview me? Yes, yes, to get yourself. All right, you thank can... you so much. I appreciate Sorry, let me borrow this. Okay, thank you. So, yeah. I'm, I'm the representative here in Barbados for Haitians. For Haitians. Oh, yeah, the representative. Oh, yes. Marie, you're the representative for Haitians. Are there many Haitians in Barbados? Yes, we have at least 350 at the moment. Oh, oh awesome. Yes. Awesome. So, what does this day mean to you? Um, well, as you know, we are all descendants of Africans. Yeah. Therefore, emancipation represents freedom and the fact that we, we can now chart our own future. Uh -huh. Actually, actually, when I was hearing the speeches, I could hear them talk, the Salines and all that. I was like, oh, yeah. Yes, happy to hear the name of the yeah. ancestors being, being mentioned yeah. during the ceremony and yeah. everything. Yeah. Yes, so um, happy to talk. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.
eternity to keep so. Be great cultivators, both of soil and soul. Because it's only in that way that there will be a tomorrow's harvest. Be strong links in the chains between heaven and earth, between spirit and man, between the hedges of the past and the hegemonies of the future. Let this be the only chance in your vocabulary for the chains of slavery and colonialism should have been forever broken into a forever flower. In whatever you build, filled with pride and the poets, with the bloom always of green gardens, gardens to celebrate nature, with the stain of red to remember the heroes, and a dressing of white for the ancestors. If you live on the island, love it! Love it! Love it! But remember, no man is an island, and no island belongs to one man. Be always of a part something greater than yourself, something that will make you larger than yourself, part of an island, part of a region, part of the main. Educate yourself, your children, your community into these things, in the way they should go, in the way we should grow. So think on these things, dream on these things, act on these dreams. today are very spot on they have a message of emancipation freedom and i totally enjoy the fact that even the young ones were not left behind
just do tourism by itself, but we do tourism and culture. And that is what makes us unique. That when you come to Barbados, you are immersed in a full cultural experience. You get to interact with Barbadians, local Barbadians who speak the language. But also as well, we have experiences that allow you to be able to make connections with your history, make connections with your past. We have an experience that allows you to be able to understand the fullness of who we are as a country, what we are capable of, not just only today, but also as well for the future. And that is the experience that we want tourists um, to come to Barbados um, and be a part of. So yes, plenty parties. We are in the middle of crop over, but it's the season of emancipation, so you could be going to a party one night, and then the next day get up and you're going on a hike to look at, you know, Amerindian burial grounds. That's yeah. a level of experience you're going to have here yeah. in Barbados when you come at this particular time. Yeah, yeah? full cultural immersion. Alrighty, yeah? thank you so no much. No problem.